Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 homebrew. Mm -hmm. Welcome, 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 welcome. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the coffee. Oh, them... did you let them know? <laughs> I let them know <laughs> that you're going to be a little I bit late. I was like, will she make it on time? <laughs> And the well, answer is no. No, it was she a couple minutes. Of course, when time. you want coffee fast, um, <laughs> one of the baristas is on break, so of you're course. waiting. Yes. Of course. Uh, but what can you do? Not Sorry, much. Coffee. Uh, <laughs> we have four games today. One from all the way from Brazil. Mm, uh, that's the first one up, cool. Unholy. And we do nice. have the developer in the chat. Yay! Hello, uh, welcome. Leonardo Santiago, welcome. Uh, we're also going to be playing a brand new updated version of Iran by VHZC. Um, going to be playing an older game, Slime Atari Ball from 2007. Slime Atari Ball, okay. <laughs> You'd think it'd be called Atari Slime Ball, <laughs> but no, so it's, it's called Slime Atari Dash Ball. Ball. Nice. Yeah. And uh, then we're going to be trying to get uh, higher scores in Amoeba Jump for the last day of the Harmony Games uh, Part 3. Mm -hmm. And Muddy Funster just resubscribed. <laughs> Luckily, he's already on the list, so I don't have to add that in. Yeah. Um, thank you very much to all the Twitch subscribers who support the show. Uh, Al Nefer, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Check, Dan AVC, Dianoid, Great Offender, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Janzel NL, Johnny WC23, Jupiter Storm 17, Carl G. Croco 2600, wow. Cuba 6969, Mark Space Inc., MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, Packrat VG, RC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pimsir, Cat Legs, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spice Warrior, Esther Mirrors 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Thunkus D. Key Dan, Dan K., and Trek M. D. <sighs> What a list. Look at it over it's there. It's huge. It's huge. You really almost can't long. read it anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's the getting font. so small. The font. We'll just make it smaller and yeah. smaller and smaller. It is 34 <laughs> subscribers. It yes. is a very long list yeah. and the longest it's ever been. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and you can tell if you are subscribing or your subscription has run out if you have a little thing by your chat name there. Mm. You can see Muddy Funster, founder, 12 month subscriber. Wow, very cool. And the D Train. Uh, eight month subscriber, Esther Mirrors 2008, 13 month subscriber. Very nice. And they all and you all have different badges depending yeah. on how when, long, you've, how long you've been doing it for. That's cool. And Money Funster and Ground Trooper have a founder. And I think that means the first 10 people to subscribe to, to the channel. To subscribe or something like that. Yeah. 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 Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah. And you can support the show too and subscribe for free if you have Amazon Prime <laughs> and link it to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. Mm -hmm. New world record. New world record. <laughs> It's the <laughs> longest list zero page homebrew has ever had. It's a new world record. You saw it here. And make sure you follow and subscribe and click link on Twitch and YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter to keep up to date. Yes, always want that. I wondered that meant. <laughs> yeah. He has a special badge and he doesn't even know what it is. Yes. <laughs> Hurrah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we've got a package here. Yes. Um, I'm not sure what it is. Um, it's from Oregon. That's exciting. Mm, that is um, exciting. Says it's uh, a video game controller. Oh, which okay. Which is always fun. Neat. I, I can't remember what it is. This I legitimately cannot. So this is going to be exciting. I may have to take the scissors to it. Yep. Too much tape. Yeah, careful, careful. Yeah, don't want to cut the controller or <laughs> controller cords uh, or anything like that. There yes, first post. First post, Grand Trooper. First post. <laughs> it's like, be. you know, when idiots comment on a news post as first. <laughs> First. Well, we were first, and we have the badge to prove it. Yeah. That's right. Oh, it's a package within a package. Nice. Mm. Oh, fold it over. That's really weird. Why would you put a package in a package? Extra protection. <laughs> Extra padding, I guess. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Excellent, excellent. This is really good. What did uh, you get? So these are um, 26... A 26 adapters. Okay. Uh, oh. So mm -hmm. on one side, you've got the regular DP, DB9 mm -hmm. uh, nine pin connector mm -hmm. for Atari 2600, 7800, Genesis, all the ones, tons and tons of Commodore 64, tons of things use this. And then on the other side, you have USB. So this connects your controllers up to like actual real controllers up to your computer. So that you can use uh, 
regular controllers, but also paddles. Yay! Yeah. And that's really what I bought them for, is you can actually use paddles. And these oh, are the... Neat! He's got, they've got three different kinds, and this is the top one. Okay. Um, so it has more flexibility on what systems it works with and what controllers it works with. Yeah. You have the model that plugs into everything, too. Yeah. If you, it, it was only yeah. just a little bit more. So I was like, yeah, why not, it was get, worth doing why not it? get yeah. the model that works with everything? Um, so rollerballs, mice, just everything, everything, neat. everything, everything. It's neat. This is really, really, yeah, really handy. Really cool. Because I was getting really frustrated with not being able to play um, paddle games. Yeah. On when, the emulator, On right? the emulator, yeah. because some of the paddle games, like early ones, have screen roll and problems like that. And you just can't play them on a, a proper system. Mm. Um, and modern displays. Um, so I wanted to make sure that we could still play them. So this is really, really great to have. Yeah. Uh, yep. Awesome. Excellent. Very happy to have those. We won't be using them today because mm -hmm. they, well, hopefully not. Where did you order them from? Um, well, it says right here. 26-daptor.com. Mm. Um, oh. oh, no. It rolled under. <laughs> so 2600-dapter, D-A-P-T-O-R dot com. Um, they've got three different kinds. And depending on whether you want to pay less and just use them for one specific purpose mm. or have more flexibility with them. I think them. the flexibility is great, especially if you play a lot of different systems and want to emulate things. Uh, right? Isn't there a firmware for that allows to plug the Atari Vox into the PC? Yes. Uh, it works with these as well, the oh, Atari really? Vox, so that you can test out um, Atari Vox right on your PC, uh, rather than having, okay, compile it, okay, send it over to, mm, put it on the SD card. If you're developing, you mean. If you're developing, yeah, it makes, makes it a, a lot quicker that's, for that's developing. Cool. That's very And cool. developing for paddles, too. Yeah. Like anything developing, it's uh, really, really handy. Or for, say, two button, um, well, that, that could be easily accomplished. Mm. Um, Okay, uh, so Dianoid sent me over a picture of himself. He got the Zero Page Homebrew t-shirt. Yay! We're still waiting for ours. <laughs> um, ours haven't arrived yet. Uh, they. It's shipping though, it, right? You said they, they... It's on its nice. way. They can't see it. Aww. They can't see it yet. That's okay. There we go. Yeah. And so there's, there's <laughs> Dianoid. Um, yeah. Uh, Dion Alsthorn with his Zero Page shirt and his award. Yeah, nice. For the game we're going to be playing today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amoeba Jump. Yeah. Um, so, uh, really happy people are getting the shirts and they're enjoying them. Yeah. Ours is on its way. It's I hope it'll be here by next show. Yeah. It's quite possible um, by Wednesday, but it's not here today, unfortunately. Mm. Um, so, there's a happy, happy Dianoid. <laughs> and, um, and I also posted... Um, S. Ramirez, yes, as well. Nice. Um, so he's happy with his shirt. Excellent. Different color. There you go. Well, you can. I'm. It's neat that uh, that site. You can actually pick what what color and what type of T-shirt. They have different styles. Yeah, different too. styles. So it's kind of. Uh, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. Different fits and different textures and different. Yeah, yeah which and is, which is cool. I like the different colors that are mm -hmm. possible too. But well, I think we we. Um, Everybody hates the way they look in pictures. <laughs> it doesn't matter who you are. Yeah, trust so me. you just have to deal with it and rest assured that yeah. everybody else does not care. Yeah, try you try just try fine. live streaming for three hours and rewatching it. So <laughs> Well, the key to it's that like, is oh. not rewatching it. No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> just let it let it go out to the world yeah. and deal with yeah. it. Yeah. Color color choices are great. Yeah, there's tons of color choices. Yeah. Hey yeah. Nestrog. Yeah. Um, and welcome to everybody in the chat. Forgot to read out everyone's names. Dan AVC, Nasdrog, Estramers 2008, Arena Foot, Janzel NL, S, uh, D Train, uh, Leo Scanty, uh, Muddy Funster, uh, Captain Classic. Oh, I know there's tons in here. Uh, I supposed to, Kev Kelly, Dan AVC, Thrust 26. Oh, and I've got the scroll moving so fast now. Is it? Yeah. Uh, Dianoid. Welcome, Dianoid. Uh, who else? Captain Classic. Did yeah. you see Jupiter Carl Storm? Carl G, Jupiter Storm 17. Yeah. yeah. Um, Foot's in there. Uh, I'm yeah, sure there's I other think people. you've covered most of them. Most Spartan. Spartan 581. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. lots. Carl G. Yay. There you go. Prow7. There you go. <laughs> Everybody's piping in to get their name up. 
<laughs> um, uh, Nathan Strum has, uh, like I said last show, he's got my RGB Atari 2600. Mm -hmm. It's under the knife right now. Under the knife. <laughs> um, and he's actually posted some repair photos of it. Oh. So we're going to take a oh, look at it's that. It's cracked open. Uh, here we go. Let's take a look. Ooh, dirty. Um, time to rip this sucker apart. After a little hammering, I was able to get the 2600 apart. So you'll smash it with a hammer. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I suppose a screwdriver would have been easier. Oh my uh. God, let's use the keyboard. Uh, but not nearly <laughs> as much fun. Dirt, 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 and more dirt. But at least I haven't found much cat yeah, hair. Yeah, that is surprising. <laughs> that is really surprising. That must be old dirt. But they don't have fans, so they're not sucking in anything, Yeah, that's right? usually where you get the... Um, yeah. Let's make that... Oh, you guys can't really... Is it? Is it okay? Well, we're kind of blocking, but that's okay. That's right. You can see it. You can see generally. So he looked at my terrible job of... Hey, hey. <laughs> of putting this system together um the pallet switch uh which is really really handy there's a little button on the back of the rgb it also doubles as a pause button um he noticed that was pinched a little bit but oh. he tested it and it was fine it was fine yeah um he commented on my soldering job um <laughs> uh, that's the new one okay and he, and he took it out okay. and there was a uh there was a short across oh. it across oh. the ground and the output so oh, that geez. wasn't gonna work he said yeah. and then he took then he took a look at the old one that i took out yeah and there was also a short <laughs> across the ground in the input wow. um but that was not the issue okay so i mean it didn't help no <laughs> but, I'm, I'm sure shorts generally don't so, and he yeah. started to check if there was a short still there and there was, there was uh, multiple shorts oh my god um the regular was not the cause of the short mm. uh let's see somewhere else so um he unplugged it from the main 2600 board and the short was gone which meant the switchboard was not in the cause mm. so it was on the main board um which and he said yeesh because there's a lot of stuff going on the main board yeah uh and then he started looking around and it was fine. There's a wire hanging on by a thread. Oh. Was this the cause of a short? Well, no. <laughs> uh, the short was actually the opposite end. Mm. Uh, flipped it over the board so he could trace it. And then he uh, drew all those little lines. That's where Smart. Um, the connection went. That is a lot of work to figure that out. <laughs> it is. Oh That's why I, can't, I couldn't do it. Yeah. So he concluded he had to take off the RGB board. Which he thought he would have to do anyway, just to get it back to basics, to make sure okay the bare twenty six hundred is working. Is working, yeah. Um, so he took that off, um, and he said, "Oh, it's it's a plug-in module, which makes mm -hmm. it easy to just take off." Um, so there it is, away from the twenty six hundred now. Um, and then he looked at the extra buttons, and he noted that we did wire up. Uh, the select and reset to wires. Yeah. Um, but I didn't use them because on the RGB board, they've supplied an option mm. that you can um, either wire them up to a joystick and have extra buttons on a joystick into port two. Okay. Or run a wire out of the 2600, have some sort of external button clicker so that you can press reset while sitting here. Mm and select yeah. without having to get up. Go, yeah. Um, but I didn't do that because, because people are asking in the forums. Yeah. Why didn't you do that? You yeah. hate getting up and pressing reset. Oh, what he is... He found a mouse. <gasps> oh, my goodness. <laughs> not a real him. mouse. <laughs> is he on... Oh, he's not on the camera. He's found his little, little tiny little mouse. He's <laughs> yeah. so cute. He's got his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, people are saying, oh, you get up and you complain about the hitting the reset. And this provides a wire that you can have an external button or something but i didn't want this thing hanging out of the 2600 like all the time that have you have no option but yeah. this dangling thing yeah or permanently hook it up to a joystick that was the other option mm. um so it just yeah i didn't want to do that um i'll not many not many games you have to get up and press reset just the old stuff mm. um so those had to come off he said <laughs> <laughs> um 
So it gave me a chance to fix that one sketchy board connect wire while I was in the neighborhood. Uh, so he, mod he removed the mod, tested the board again, the short was gone. So he's determined that the short was in the, board? the RGB board. Really? Yeah. Um, mm. So he popped the TIA off, which is in the mod, mm. and put it back onto the board, which you can see the picture there. Mm. And he said, so with the TIA removed from the mod and restored it to its rightful place, would the 2600 work? Would it? Would it? Stay tuned for chapter three. <laughs> so we don't know. He, I've, he's I've, left you hanging. He's still working on it. <laughs> he, he is. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he could have just turned it on and told me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, he has not posted an update, I don't think. Let me just refresh. Maybe we can get something live. <laughs> nope. No, no. So he's going to leave that for tomorrow or something for the next exciting chapter of this there we go so that's that's a very very interesting um how that's going and very promising mm. that he was able to find multiple shorts and and multiple found, shorts yeah <laughs> many shorts oh no cliffhanger yeah hey hey come here show everyone your mouse come here sorry i don't mean to distract but he's being very cute show the mouse here. show the mouse on camera show it what it is no show it for people he just found it. Orange and white mouse. I don't know where it was. <laughs> I don't know where it was either. Come on, a mouse. Up here. Come here. No. <laughs> he wants you to throw it. So we're going to get to our first game, uh, which is Unholy. This is uh, just released on June 5th, so two days ago, mm -hmm. um, by Leonardo Santiago, who is in the chat with us. And this was first talked about on may 2nd 2020 he posted some videos and start talking about his game on uh facebook and he says hey guys check out the first teaser of the unholy atari game mm. so let's take a look at that here i'll put it on camera so you guys can see it. hold down the button atari hot spot Ready. Ready. And where's my remote? There it is. So we can switch over. So if you wanted to follow along with the uh, RGB 2600 saga, repair saga, um, it's in the clubs. In the clubs. In the Atari Age mm. forums. And it's the Zero Page Homebrew Club. You want that thrown for you? Okay. It's too easy. Cats like a challenge. <laughs> if you just play something in oh, front I of know, them, I they're know. like, mm -hmm. That's not fun. That's not very fun. Okay. Very strange colors today. Yee, <laughs> it's kind of something's like off, yeah. weird mustardy color. And it cut out. Mm. That's encouraging. It didn't look too good, though, when it, <laughs> when it came up, so that's all right. Okay, let's... Yeah. Down. Okay. Mm. Very mustardy color. Yeah, that's that's not normal. There, that's that better. looks normal. Nice green. Oh, thank you very much, D Train, for posting the thread forum for the repair. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's take a look at Unholy. Let's load, load that up. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Unholy demo. Oh, appeared. Oh. This is too quiet. There we go. So some lightning. Yeah. Nice blood trail there, yeah, kind of. Very or nice. actually, it's a devil tail. Mm. A little, a little. Plus maybe some blood. And demo LCS twenty twenty. So, um, and thank you, Arena Foot, for linking. Yeah, very, very nice title screen. Um, so, let's, oh, so we've got a selection. I think there's a selection of one or two. So, let me see. Try one, one first. Nice. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Did we play? I think I've shown you video of this. Oh, yes. We've seen video. That's, what, that's so, why it looked familiar. Nice. 
the story of this, a uh, young lady, Isabel Lorraine, gave a carnival party in her, her old mansion on a Christian reserved date, dis disrespecting her parents and traditions. At the party, an uninvited person, Daniel Evander Vaughn, Icarus uh, Lutox, or just Devil, started to seduce her and invited her to dance. She fell in, love, fe fell in love and gave him a kiss, but after the kiss, a lightning hit the mansion, killing almost every guest. And then the devil took the lady's body. A young monk, Gabriel Sanchi, Sanchi? from a monastery near, was designated to save the survivors and get the young lady back from evil. Mission. Rescue four survivors and find Isabella to get her back. So that is the object of the game. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Oh. That's hard. Did you kill them or did they? I did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a key. I can't get to it though. I think no, that's a wrong pit. Wrong way around. Isn't it a pit? Yeah, I wouldn't go in that. <laughs> Looks like a pit. Ah, ah. Oh. You have to get to one side. So what are in those vases? Uh, I couldn't interact with them unless I'm doing something wrong. Which you couldn't is... shoot them? Oh. <laughs> you call yourself a uh... video game player. <laughs> You're supposed to smash the vases. Oh, well, it happens. All right, let's smash the vases. Have to... Ah! And a little it. too close. Yeah, the graphics are incredible. They look so good. And you can see he's holding a cross, and he's got like kind of a, a monk haircut. You know, those ones that are straight across. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, did that come out of it? Yeah. Uh. So, yeah, there are doorways, but there was a red door and I couldn't get through right. it on oh, another screen. So I key. I wonder if I passed any other black doors. Um, but uh, there was a key, so obviously... How do I come out of here? Ah! <laughs> you went right for the pit. Well, you get a little too close. So I guess your lives are the... Um... There oh, we go. that might heal you, but you just resurrected. So, oh, there's a red key. So you've got your lives up front with the little dots. Yeah. Then you've got keys, uh, which you've got zero. And I guess the next one's survivors. It says four. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to find a way to get to that key. Mm. More ET pits. Mm -hmm. uh, these, these you can't get out of. So There's another key. So it is, it is, ah! Both uh, mazy and um, it's got rooms and levels. Yep. I've, I'm kind of on the same level right now. Um, I've gone into a couple of rooms, but I haven't found sort of a way back to some of those keys yet. So. Mm -hmm. This is really cool. It looks really good. And I love, I love the cross. As throwing the cross, yeah. Throwing the cross, it's or, way better than or an blessing. I'm not sure what exactly that would <laughs> be, but right. I love You're that as a um, yes, as a weapon, as a weapon. Oh. Yeah, it's much more creative than um, just like a dot something yeah as, as a as your projectile so we do have the uh developer in oh that's different maybe you can find your way back over to yes. the keys now and the color too is different uh, so i yes. think that's a good way to remember where you are oh i did play with the colors a bit and they're it's a little, a little darker bit off oh on the stream? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's great you guys also have a cat cam. Yeah, Atari is actually ah. in the center of the cat cam right now. <laughs> so it doesn't always work out that way. But he didn't bring his mouse back. Yeah. Weird. Anyway, we'll deal with those colors. Colors are different that we're seeing than you guys are seeing. But I was messing around with them. But this is... It's very much darker on the screen we're looking at. But it's all relative. I really like the protagonist in the game, like this this monk. Oh yeah. Uh, he looks beautiful. <laughs> I love the stripes, like his belt and, and even the hem of his um his robe. Oh um, you have to be very, very careful there. One life left. Oh, Haven't no, got any keys really? yet. I haven't rescued anybody yet. Well, I just started. The only thing missing is some Atari Vox shouting, the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> that would be perfect. Oh, my. Very treacherous uh, pathways. Yeah. Well, you just have to be. It's it's all in the feet. Ah! Let's get away. Oh, oh just go. Yeah. 
they just reset. It's, it's one of those games where if you just run away, it doesn't matter because they just reset no matter how many times you come on the screen. Which can be to your advantage or disadvantage because mm -hmm. your advantage because you can just run away and it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. It doesn't affect anything. Disadvantage is you go back to the same screen. Yay, the first key! If you can make it with your last life. <laughs> Yay! So it doesn't look like there's score in the game. It's it's a it's kind of a mission game uh, where you have an objective. You, yeah. Yay, yeah. Yeah. You finally had health that helped you. <laughs> so now you have one key. So you have to maybe yeah. go back to that door to go to the yes. next section. I wonder if you can go through the door from this side. But anyway, let's see. Yeah. I might have to go back to the door. I I'm just going this, this way because I haven't really. Yeah, this been... might be a loop. Could be. Um, oh, it could be. Yeah, that would kind of. Where, sense. it's like well, there's different like levels. It's like yeah. this level, and it just loops eventually, and yeah. then the next level loops yeah. eventually. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Horizontal looping. Because you haven't encountered anything that blocks your left and right path. Get away just from me. Oh. There's a a door now. That's red. My key was like orange. Mm hmm. I so can try it. I can try it, but I'm not sure. No. No? Okay. It might, it might not be the right one. That's okay. The screens are great. The enemy sprites are great. Yeah. Yes. Very good ghosts yes. and skulls. Oh, floating. this is the end. This oh, is there is the an end. end. That is an end. So I do have to go back. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's okay. I, uh... The enemies are easy to defeat. They're it's, not hard to defeat. This is takes a little bit of just being careful. So it's more about the walkways. The hard ah! Anyway. <laughs> So you can read about his history. Sure. Yep. Grab it. Yep. I like the animation. I really like the. I really like the monk. I think he looks really great. So that is the end. Like yes, it can't is. Go like... So I think I was on the upper level at that end above right. it, if that makes sense. So there's a door there. So that's probably the door for the key. I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. How far did you get into any of this? No. Start no. From the top. Okay. Uh, History of Game and Leonardo. I started to code when I was about 10 years old. My mother had a CP200 computer, a Brazilian clone of the British Sinclair ZX81, and the manual was the source to learn basic. The years passed and I became a systems analyst. Atari 2600 was my first video game and I have a lot of memories when uh, playing some games. It was part of my childhood. The console defined who I am as a programmer. Mm. About two years ago, I decided to learn how to code a game, and I searched how I could create an Atari 2600 game. Found Atari Age page, I discovered the unique characteristics this console has, and I could see how people still love this amazing video game. Using Atari Basic, I started a simple game that I never finished. Like most of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not that I program, but <laughs> well, that's, that's, anything like that, right? That's fairly typical. You always start like, somewhere. Oh, lots of big ideas, yes. and then it's like, oh, this yeah. is actually pretty hard. <laughs> uh, during this quarantine, I was thinking how to keep my mind active, and I remembered that old, unfinished game, but I decided to start a new one from scratch. That's a pink key. Is that the one you got? Uh, no. 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 So I don't know where the upper part of that is to get down there. Yeah. Yours is a red key, so it matched the door at the beginning? Probably, because there's nowhere else to go. <laughs> uh, mine was orange, I think. Hmm. Orange? Is an orange key? Um, this one is an annoying pathway. So slow. <laughs> the game story was chosen after listening to Dance of Death from Iron Maiden and remembering a legend from my city where a woman danced with the devil. So I changed the story a little bit and put some character names to improve it. That's cool. Ah, That's yes. cool. Yep. So did you go left or did you go right? I went right, 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 and then I went up, and then left, left, left. And so I think I actually made it right to the no, end I'm, I'm, I'm to through, get the key. I'm through the door. Yeah, to get the key. So you went left. Left, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't go right. Uh, so, and there is a red door at the very far end, but obviously that key doesn't get you through that door. Yeah. And it is also, well, I guess it's also a demo, so. Yeah, I don't it know might, how you far We might hit can... a wall at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the story, a young lady, Isabel, Isabella Lorraine, gave we a carnival... Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what I read. <laughs> Gabrielle Sancti. Nice. Yeah, the maps are really great. Mm, that little nice. line separation between the wall yeah. and the floor is good. Those look like a pair of lungs. <laughs> <laughs> they do a little. There's your oh, key. Oh, so it's kind of it's kind of a golden... 
golden color, yeah. Golden orange. And there was a pink one that was through one of the doors, but you couldn't yeah. get to. Um, but I couldn't find my way to the... So there's nothing all the way to the left. No, because I went all the Just way. Door. Yeah, so I think you have to go back. The keys may be to. generic. It's like you have a key and it just opens the door. Well, maybe, maybe not. It's hard to say, but that one was golden. So we'll see. Maybe there is a golden door. Yeah. So should I yeah. go all the way to the right on this level or go back to that? <laughs> Get <red>? some graph paper. <laughs> oh, boy. Isn't it you and Erilyn who like to do that? Map yeah. everything out. Yeah, Erilyn likes to map. Well, you have to on games like Certain this. Certain games, you, you have no choice, but... Uh, when it's non-linear and there's things you have to go back to... I, I have to say I was good at memorizing maps and Oof, locations when I was terrible. young, and I just cannot do that now. <laughs> <laughs> I could never do it. I always had tons of maps when I was playing games. Oh, did, well, I, I was pretty good with managing without them, but... But then it depends on the game. Some games are really like they're just mazes. Huge. Yeah, they're huge. So should I go? I should probably go back. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh, that's back. Yeah. Oh. You're that's back the one in I green went through. Zone. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything to the right? Or are you going left? I'm going left to the door. To start to the first door you you see. Oh, I see. Just so we can try that out. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, where you have, we'll go. Keep going the other way. Nice. There, see, there's the pink one, but I never saw a way down nope. to get to that door. So it, the doors might not be exactly where they show themselves to be. Either. No, which they is might always jump. confusing. Or it just hasn't been created yet. I don't know. That door goes nowhere. Yeah. Just to a, a well, ledge. That just shows you that there's a key. So I believe that door shows you there's a key on oh, the other side. Yeah. So that's how you know you have to get to that key. If I'm Oh, is that oh. A strawberry? Ooh, extra life. Extra life. That was a heart, I think. A heart? Ah, strawberry works so that, too. <laughs> so you do get extra lives once in a while. That's yeah. good to know. So it's very uh, beneficial to open all of those. Yeah. Back up to full full number of lives. So let's see if this opens it or yeah. if I need that's a red key. an orange, key. orange color. <gasps> oh. Oh, that might have been the end. <laughs> no. No? Just a line count issue. Oh, no. It's... Or death. <laughs> We're seeing... Oh, there. Now you guys There you go. Pretty picture. Is that the end of the uh, demo? <laughs> <laughs> it might be. <laughs> uh, so that's uh, it for I think that. it might be it. Leo's in there. He can let us know if we should keep trying. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll look a little bit more. I don't know if that was supposed cool. to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it went, it actually kind of liked the the pattern it produced. So. Yeah, if that's intentional. Yeah, but maybe maybe the we. End. Yeah. Hailstorm. <laughs> or go keep going to the right maybe. Yeah, on this level. Yeah, yeah, and see if there's more that way. I oh, oh. yeah. Oh, down a pit. Oh my God. Down a pit. It's not too bad uh, avoiding avoiding the pits. You just have to be slow. Yeah, especially this part. Diagonals are always a pain. <laughs> it, yeah. Um, oh, oh, what oh, is that? That's new. Wow, random. Uh, random green potion. I don't know what that was, but... I, maybe it's a full health. Oh, and maybe. And I was already kind of you at full health. You were already at full health. That's yeah. okay. It's possessed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't go through the orange door. <laughs> that, that was the end, but su but some very sorry happened. Oh, so it it was supposed to be a screen, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't quite work out. Yeah. So that but was the end of the, the, end. The, the demo. Yeah. We'll take we'll take a look at some other more of the screens though. Yeah. We'll we'll go, go for the end right. of this. No bats. <laughs> no bats. Yeah. No bats yet. Diagonal movement's not too hard, actually. Just have to be a little careful with it, like, like going diagonal. It works really well, better than a lot of games, actually. So I played games where diagonals like nightmare to to move properly. Mm. Oh, that's the end. Is so it? you couldn't actually go so past this. It was that was the end. Oh, okay. okay. So let's go to the. Oh, oh go do down that. the pit. Oh, you can't go to the right here. Oh, okay. So, so we basically did. We did. We hit, we hit the uh, the edges of it. Yeah. Leo, it looks beautiful. 
gorgeous. Yeah. It controls really well. Yes. Um, and it's... The enemies you have are really good. The yeah. power-ups are good. The extra life is good. Yeah. Um, and I do the find... The graphics are great. Because you can only sh sh uh, shoot horizontally. Yeah. When you're going um, vertically into rooms, now now hitting these guys becomes more challenging. <laughs> it does. Which is good. That's okay. Uh, which is good because... Um, you have to think about it. You have to think about it a little and get around them. So. It's it, it very much yeah, like... Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it's great. Pantheon, mm. where you can only shoot <laughs> yeah. horizontally. Yeah, yeah. And so you do have to be careful there as well Yeah. Um, by going into vertically into the rooms. Yeah. Are you going to try going through that door again? Uh, See if we get the same issue. Sure. It will. So no, we know this just goes to... Yeah. So I think you can go back. I'm sure it'll be the exact same issue. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's, it's not going to. You try it, yeah. It's not going to change much. Probably not. Maybe it does something different on a not an emu on a, uh, on an emulator. On an emulator, yeah. But on this, if there's not 262 lines being given to it, yeah. it goes nuts. Yeah. So if there's like a sound effect or some something special going on. And it doesn't maintain 262 lines. It goes not. It thinks that you've changed oh. resolution, oh, get, 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 get. which you literally have changed resolution, yes. and it tries to resense what uh, the new resolution is. My wife left, and Be so it go so it mm -hmm. blanks out for a second. Um, on a CRT, it doesn't matter. CRTs just display anything, anything. given. Yeah, it's that's like, true. I don't care. I'll display garbage, I'll display so, nothing. So the fact that this is not a CRT is the problem then, in some yeah, ways? Yeah, because uh, digital digital um, equipment has to interpret things, mm. as to, especially from a non-digital source. Mm. So it's like, oh, what is this? Is it a PAL signal? Is it NTSC? Let me try and figure it out. Let me look at the signal. Ow, ow. <laughs> and so it'll drop signal unfortunately, until it senses something proper. And sometimes that takes a while mm. for it to sense the signal. That's the door, so we're going to try it again, see if... Ready? I hear it going... I think it plays a tune. I can hear a little... A little... A little bit buzz. of something. Or not. Or I heard buzz. that. Okay, so it doesn't do anything. <laughs> you guys can see that. Oh, 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 oh. Craziness. Oh, it's trying. It's trying. It's got lots of play field going across the screen. <laughs> maybe, maybe it'll settle out. Mm. It's actually creating some pretty cool effects. <laughs> yeah. And it kind of looks like you could probably do that on a 2600 if you tried, like to do these effects. Yeah, they're kind of neat. If anybody's seen Battle Zone when you get hit, it goes crazy oh, like that. Like mm. that. Um, displays Ready. like lots of dots and diagonal lines and stuff. It looks really cool. Okay. Very, that very, very really cool. Fun. Yeah. Um, excellent game. Yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, more of it um, as you develop it. Mm. So, yeah, send over uh, more uh, builds. Like as you, as you get like more levels and stuff like that, and we'll take another look at it. Yeah. Um, now we're going to take a look at VHZC's update to Iran. Um, this build is this is a release candidate build, mm. so you can jump into it. Okay. Um, actually, let me just switch over. One second. Mm. One second. Switch over the game graphic. And he's got a nice new graphic for the little character, mm. the Iran character. Mm -hmm. Luckily, VHZC is an excellent artist, so he does all his own art and nice. his labels and his t-shirts. Nice. <laughs> um, okay, so load it up. Sometimes he has like intros and stuff. There we go. Nice. And I love his font, his outline font. It's very unique. Um, this is a 16K F6 game. Other games he's made: Canonica, Doremi, Draco, Iran, Night Guy in Low Res World, Castle Days, Low Res Racer, Ninja Sky, Peril, A Roach in Space. Um, and you can download this uh, uh, release candidate one from the Atari Age forums. Uh, you can jump into it. We'll do normal first. Yeah. And it's just jump or oh. duck. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Two I'm controls. Just, yeah. And we'll get to see all the new little characters. 
bats, of course. <laughs> and mushrooms. I love that nice. hanging thing. It's like a hanging garden. Oh, oh not enough. that's a tough one. Um, so we played this last on May 3rd when he did, it was like two updates ago, I think. Um, after the first update after that was May 14th. The game is also complete. I also have no more room for spites, uh, sprites. Two modes, normal, order of the obstacles are predetermined. Three lives, oh, you get no. checkpoints. Uh, score depends on the screen. Screen 15 gives 15 points. Hmm. On hard, obstacles appear randomly. Only one life, no checkpoint. 10 points for each obstacle on the screen. This next update, May 18th, 2020, new beta. More obstacles, change in some others, and I hope a smoother jump. Oh, did it. Ooh, nice flowers. Yeah, Those are very new. Very nice flowers. Oh, a bee? Duck. Oh, duck. Duck the duck. Literally duck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no fighting. Oh, come on, cats. Be nice. Uh, no, no, no fighting. That's right. Run away, Atari. Um, and this one, June 1st, <laughs> uh, release candidate one. Uh, entering the final stage of development. So when people get into the release candidates, that's pretty much, that's the end of adding things or mostly it's for uh, testing purposes, finding bugs at that point. It's not for, it's not for adding things anymore. Uh, when you go to a release candidate, it's like you're happy with the game you don't need to change it very much. You're just looking for anything that's going to break the game or weirdnesses or crashing. Uh, what's a spinning thing near the score? It is your lives. It's kind of like a, a coin. Spinning coin. Very, very nice animation. I love it. And it has the same kind of outline look as your score. Ooh. There's hey. checkpoint. Yay. Oh. oh, no. Last life, but you made it to the checkpoint. Yeah. Hop over the you have to hit awesome it. giraffe. Yeah, the giraffe is pretty awesome. Piggy! Oh, oh the piggy no! comes back and bites your leg. <laughs> oh, and you can see how many lives you have left beside the coin. Oh, I thought it was your last one. Oh, so it's not the number of lives. The number of lives is behind. Jump! Is beside it. So, yeah. Oh, nice Halloween thing. Ooh, little torches. Very high torches. Oof. No, oh. didn't quite clear it. Get okay, your turn. My turn. <laughs> Love the animated life token. Yeah. Can you do that in another game? Uh, uh, I think he. Well, we played peril? this game before, right? So maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe peril. Wasn't the game with the stuff falling from the ce oh ceiling God. that you're, you're shooting? Is that VHZC? Uh. The, falling from the ceiling. You're shooting. Oh, well, he does do shoot it. He's done two shooting. Yeah. Games. Canonica. And a roach in space. I think it was Canonica. Yeah, we just played Canonica. Yeah, not too yeah, long that's ago, what I mean. So. That that had um, spinning objects. Yeah, he and yeah. he and he's gone back. Oh, damn it. Yeah, that one that one always fakes you out because it's yeah. in the middle. Um, and he has gone back to some of his games and kind of updated them with the style. Yeah. His new style of of scoring and uh, all the things that he's learned. I love all the sprites. They're awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, They're so good. Oh, jump. <laughs> I know. Uh, and, and he's like uh, a one-person team. Like, mm. like he does the graphics and the programming. Nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> Terrible. So that makes it um, probably maybe not faster development, but faster to get things out. Because he's able to do a lot of everything. There we go. Oh, it's one of those. I, 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 we were playing it before. We were playing it a fair amount, and I would just continually run into that that bullet because it's right in the middle. Yeah, that one's very tricky. Ooh, Ooh that was close. Tight. Damn it! <laughs> damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Oh my god! Let's go again. Yeah, go go. No. Oh yeah, you. the parallax scrolling background it's is great. really great of the city. Yeah, the city. There's really only two problems with the 2600 in terms of...
programming is the chunky PF <laughs> playfield background, which is the city is made of. It's four. What am I doing? Terrible. It's hard four to talk and play wide. at the same time. It is, especially with this one, because you have to. Really think it's think about what what action you have to do. Part memorization. It is, yeah. And part twitch. Yeah. Should I go? What's coming? And what do I do when it is here? <laughs> oh, oh my no. God. Terrible. <laughs> I feel twitchy because of the coffee person. <laughs> oh, the coffee's so good though. Oh. Sweet caffeine <laughs> soaking into my veins. Yeah. Checkpoints are so far apart. <laughs> <laughs> They're not too far. Apart. They're not. They're really. They really aren't. But uh, this is terrible. Terrible just, display. We were, <laughs> I don't know why we were. Yeah. It's Sunday morning. It smells so burny. Like campfire burning. <laughs> oh, it can, can you be smell outside. It from outside. Yeah, I can smell it. it like smells house like on burning fire. wood. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do it once more. Okay. <laughs> pass it back it to you. You seem to be. Yeah, pro seven. Now I'm getting tempted to make more coffee. It's hard. Ah. It's hard. I must say, memorization is not my strong suit. And this is a lot memorization. I think yeah. the hard level of this is good for... Um, he flashes every time. Do you see that? He, who does? The, the guy. Every oh, time, a little bit when something passes? When you're finished. Is that on purpose? No, he... Oh. I don't know. See? Yeah, he flashes I see the flashing. White. Don't know. I thought it was when certain things passed him. Yeah, every time something passes him. It flashes white. Mm. Like every every point you get. Piggy. Piggy. Oh. Face full of pumpkin. Okay. Not in the zone today. Yeah. No. Well, I made it not too bad there. Not, not pretty far. Oop. Hi. Up. No? I'll put you where you are then. Piggy cat. There we go. Hi. Come up now? No. <laughs> okay. There you go. Oh, checkpoint right away. Wow. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, it was a little tight. Piggy. Piggy. That piggy's so cute. Oh, too late. Too late. Oh, there's not much time there. Yeah, you have to know what... what... Oh, yeah, same oh, look as jump, jump VCS. Yes. There we go. Good. Piggy. <laughs> He's very... Uh, yeah, the animated sprites are so good. Ooh, oh, too, too early. early! Oh, I think I feel like those have gotten a little um, more sensitive, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just sucking more. Um, <laughs> uh, for for when you, where you hit the uh, the launch pad, but uh, yeah, it is a lot of timing. Oh. oh, goodbye. Pixel is so happy today. He is very energetic today. He's been he playing. Is. He's been playing. He brought in a spring earlier, and he was playing with his spring. Um, Atari had a very bad day yesterday. Oh, yeah. Um, we just bought a new vacuum cleaner. And the old one didn't seem to bother him too much, but this one I think might be a little louder. Yeah. It... And every time we vacuum, he'll hide for like eight hours. It's and he, terrible. he, it's like the monster in the house. He's, he's very, oh. he's, he's very, very, very upset when we, when we vacuum. And, um. He he hid. He hid for most of the day after. So Yay! Woohoo! Oh, tricky. Up and then down. See, you do have to know know what's coming. If there is memorization. Yeah. Like, how would you, would you ever know that? Yeah. Oh, the flowers are pretty. Jumping swords. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, monkey in a balloon. Nice. Oh. oh, face full of bee. 
face full of pee. Uh. <laughs> Such variety. Yeah. So we're going to have to figure out what to do with him when we vacuum. We might have to just like put him in the bedroom. Because he, he, he was really, really terrified. Oh my God. Pit. Yeah. Ah, oh, the chain. the chain. And the piggy again. Whoa. Oh, space alien. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, another monkey. Oh, that's so Skateboarder. Great. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. The Infinite. Oh, that was. Damn yeah. it. Excellent. You want to do it again? 936. You got really far. Oh, my God. It's so stressful. Yeah. <laughs> 936. Bad. <laughs> yeah. Vacuum cleaner is the only threat to the apex predator. <laughs> Oh, vacuum! Oh, yeah. They're pretty, they're pretty terrifying. When you think about it, something... I just want to reset. The size of you making a noise that loud would be pretty terrifying. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, uh, there's the t-shirts. Mm. Oh, VH said sees t-shirts. Yeah, and that was yeah. in my show notes. He's got a t-shirt for pretty much all of his games. Oh, awesome. Um, That's cool. So he's got one... I pressed it! <laughs> like I said, it's hard to play this game and talk at the it same is. time. Uh, yeah, I'll have to check out. He's got one for Night Guy. He's got one for Ninjish Guy. He's got one for Iran. Mm. And they're pretty much the the artwork, like the covers of, of these games. lives to make it further. Yeah. Super cute. <laughs> oh yeah. Great animations. Like the just the the feel of mm -hmm. everything is so good. This speed is, is good too. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's challenging enough. It's not too enough. fast and it's not too slow. Yeah. memorization mm -hmm. pure memorization well also because things elements do reproduce themselves so yeah. remembering how things interact Oof. like that's yeah I pressed those it, are, those but are it's fast too slow. those are fast you have to time them perfectly very fast yeah I think I got them on the first try when I first yeah. encountered them. I was just very lucky. Yay, yay. Damn it! <laughs> it's that middle, that middle it's one. middle. It's like, is I that know, you're ducking like, or is it... Jumping. Yeah. Oh. So quick on that one. Okay. No new CRTs and a veneer. Yeah. Yes, waiting on my Night Guy t-shirt. <laughs> there are no new, no new CRTs being made out now? No, I don't think so. You just there have to repurpose them. There is a business in New York State that continues the equipment to make CRTs ah. as they still exist in businesses. Yeah, well, I would think there are potentially, there's probably scientific equipment that uses some form of CRT where they Maybe build it in. Things like that, yeah. If they need that? Yeah. Um, so I would think there might still be some use. Maybe. And as replacements for that type of equipment. A lot of things have gone digital, so. Um, yeah, so he's got t-shirts for Iran, Peril, Ninjish Guy, Night Guy, and a Roach in Space, plus a ton of other designs that he's done um, for other games. Um, and uh, Vladimir is currently working on an 8-bit version of Iran as well. <sighs> On the flower. For the Atari 8-bit. <laughs> um, and, and he appears to be preparing another uh, number of conversions for mm -hmm. some of his games uh, over to the 8-bit line, including um, Canonica and Peril. Not sure if he's going to convert like all of his games um, or just a select few. Uh, I think he's in the chat, so he can answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I, I don't see any bugs with this game. Oh, it's great. Oh, too late. Oh, I thought... 
<laughs> and his uh Shh. oh too early the cats doing okay yeah they're f fighting running fighting um is a use of shading to give more texture to the to the characters on the screen is is incredible Mm -hmm. And that is. Oh, too late. Oh, I keep doing it too late. You have trouble with that one. Mm. Please get the 8 bit version converted to the 5200. <laughs> uh, do you show eight Atari 8, ga 8 bit games? Yes, we do. So we will uh, be able to show Iran when you're ready. I love the moon um, that you have in the 8 bit version mm. of, of Iran. So I did pretty good one time. So uh, I think we've seen a bunch of this. I don't know mm. if I'm going to make it further than what I did that one it was time. Like th you made it to the second or third flag. Almost to the end of the third, third level. flag. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Did I make it to the third flag? I don't know if you made it to the third. Try flag. one you more time. Further. Yeah, give it another go. There's so many adorable. Uh, oh, they're so cute. Uh, sprites. Oh, I bet I could jump over that <laughs> if you tried. The problem is if you stop playing it and then you come back to it, you forget all the... The pattern. The patterns. Yeah. And so this is a game best played like over and over and over. Just get in the zone and... Yeah. And go. And don't talk while you're doing it. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can talk. Uh, well, the 8 bird talk, version of this is not ready yet. Um, he's shown some uh, screenshots in the discord chat and he posted one recently in the thread of this iran mm. um, and it looks gorgeous mm. yay but I have not many lives left and no. that's it okay i made it far that one time <laughs> Um, so I don't know how far he is uh, developing the 8-bit version. He obviously has to do all the graphics again. He has to mm. do the display kernel again yeah. because it totally does it's things different. different. Yeah. But, I mean, he could just port over the exact graphics if he mm. wanted to yeah. or redo all of them. Yeah, it looks great on Discord chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. That's the one thing I don't like about the Discord chat. It just goes away after a while oh it you can't go really back. go away you can scroll back infinitely but yeah. it's very tedious and to, long to find stuff, and yeah. especially it's like oh i saw that in the discord chat three days ago it's like Ugh. scrolling forever but <laughs> in the in the forums it's there forever well because they're people, posts individual and you can posts. link directly yeah. to them yeah. and but me saying oh i saw it in the discord chat it's like well you'll never be able to see it <laughs> Well, it'd be it's hard. It's totally gone. Yeah, it's hard it's to It's really, find. really hard. Yeah. They serve different purposes. So. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Janzel so, uh, NL says, I don't like the Discord chat either. Not for, for that. For reasons for, the, like, for those reasons. For just yeah. chatting, it's great. Yeah. And getting immediate answers, yeah. but not for longevity. Oh, he said, all the things are working, just adding obstacles now. Cool. Oh, great. That's cool. Okay, so hold down the button. Held. We're going to move to our third game, which is a two-player game, or one-player, actually, as well. That's why you won't hear the Atari box pipe up. Um, it is Slime Atari Ball. Nice. You'd think, like I said before, it'd be Atari Slime Ball, um, but it's Slime Atari Ball. Ooh, that's nice. It's very like... vivid green on uh, the stream. It's not quite as vivid. Oh. I think I need to just turn down the saturation just a bit little it. bit. So, because that's going to blow people's minds back to the 80s. <laughs> uh, for that saturation, it's a bit much. It's one of those where you stare at it too long and then it's burned into your retina for a couple of days. There we go. That's a bit closer. Colors are a bit off now, though. Ah, let's find a middle point. There we go. Okay, so this um, I found just on a ROM pack. This game. Mm. Um, it's playing playing against itself. Yeah, right now. The blue is really taking the offensive right now. <laughs> yeah. It's like, nope, you're not even gonna touch it. I just found this in a ROM pack. I can't find any information on this game oh so maybe someone out there anywhere. has it yeah um 
I found it, the only play, other place I found it was on a list, like a text list of games. Okay. Saying that it, it exists. Okay. That's it. Um, on the text list, it says it's by Adam Befante, Melissa Sattler, and Peter Watanabe. On the ROM, though, like the actual ROM, it says it's made by Danny Miller, Kevin Murray, and Christina Marikoff. Three names yeah. on both, but they're totally, totally different, different names. Totally different names, yeah. Which, how can that be a coincidence? <laughs> Mo most games are made by one person. Yeah. This game is made by uh, two men and a woman. A woman? A woman, Both yeah. times? Yeah. Both listings? I don't know. That's do, they, do they have a pseudonym? Yeah, and maybe. And that's their pseudonym? Maybe. Um, but it is put out in 2007. It's a 4K game. Um, it's not in the Atari Age forums, so I can't get any information on it. Um, so that's it. I don't even know how to play. Uh, so we're going to try it out. I am blue. You are... Oh, no. Nope, no, I'm blue. You're blue. I'm blue. You're pink. Is it a two-player game? Yeah. I can't even do anything. Yeah, it is. You're I'm pink. Not, no, I'm not doing anything. Oh, it's a one-player oh, game. Oh, it's a one-player game. Never mind. So you are blue. So it's kind of like volleyball. It is. So the button does anything, or it's just up? Uh, no, I'm, I have not read one. Oh, thanks. Um, no, I, I don't believe so. And that's it. So you have to reset it on the... Nope. Nope. Actually, I saw a video of somebody playing this. Mm. Press button. And when they went to play it again, they had to, like, reload the, the game, game in the emulator. Uh... So that's interesting. Well, you can play it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll play it this time. There's not a lot to it. Um, I, I, you can, I don't think the button did ever, anything. I think it was just moving around. Volleyball for slimes. So the button is to start the game. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, he smiles. <laughs> He's happy about. What's going on? Oh, what? That's weird. Okay, it's two player now? How come it was one player before? I don't know. It, it, it's like an AI took over. That's weird. Oh, well, that, that's good. Get to play two player. It's two player or one player, depending on something. Oh. Get it? No! One. We have to reset the game now! <laughs> uh, well, it's a pretty simple game. <laughs> so it looks like it it's needs using a, better a six reset. digit score. <laughs> a six digit score for yeah. keeping track of the score. That was kind of weird, though. Anyway, you've got it. I don't know how it determines. Oh, maybe who presses the button? First? Like if you maybe press if the button? Maybe I press it first, it's a two player? Maybe. Try that. No. No. Nope. Your I buttons do I nothing. I can't do anything. Okay. Ready? Did you press something? No. No. I'm. I'm moving. That was weird. I don't know. How did I get one player last time? I don't know. And how? How is there only one score? Oh, it's just divided into two. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, so you get one. Oh, I see. Right. That's pretty simple then. No sounds. I'm guessing it was a very early release of it because it has no reset, which is like the minimum you'd need to to make a game. Nobody wants to restart Ugh. restart the game. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> I got one point. A student project, maybe. Yeah, oh, that's that's, that's true. Possible. Because yeah, I have seen so um, things like that mm. where they're posted on just somebody's page. Yeah. And not in the forums, not anywhere else. They just did it. For like a 24-hour yeah. challenge or something. Mm -hmm. Or um, high school learning to program and they picked Atari to program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, just imagine the stream of consciousness that ended with, I should make volleyball for slimes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Well, a very obscure game. Uh, it could be f a lot of fun if I think if reset. the reset was... <laughs> Otherwise, it's just frustrating. It's all, and it's only to three. Yeah, that's you win very at three, low. so that's a that's a pretty low. Very you, fast you would kind of want at least I don't know twelve or fifteen or something like that. Yeah, but, it's, uh, it's very fast. So it feels like someone just just tried the concept out. You know, like it was al almost like a demo of can yeah. I do this kind of thing. But Arena's foot says probably from the big Stella list from back, back in the, in the day, day, but that's yeah. fairly well indexed. That um, 
that list mm. on the internet because I sometimes get hits from it. Mm. Um, I searched for the name of the game and all six of those people's names in conjunction with the game came up with nothing. Mm. Just nothing. So it's just erased from the internet or maybe it just never made it to the yeah. internet and somebody just passed this ROM onward. Oh well. Still so. a cute little game. I mean, very cute. Simple. So. You have to go digging into the archives sometimes to find some new things. So. So we do have a little bit of, a little bit more time to put in the score for Aviva Jump. Try to get a good score. Let's put the Atari box back in because Amoeba Jump does use the Atari box. Hold the button, please. Mm -hmm. Atari box plus. Ready. So it's time to try and get a score. Go ahead, load it up. Get there. Excuse me. Yay. Okay, it's time for Amoeba Jump. And this is for part of um, the Harmony Games Part 3. Zero. <laughs> it's made by Dion Ulsthorn, uh, Dionoid. Um, this is a demo version from 2018 because in the... Um, well, that was... Barely got that. Um, for the Harmony games, he wants to make sure that everybody has access to the the game. So we're using a demo version of it, um, which is fully functional. It doesn't have um, two players, um, but it is good enough to play. And I think it, it has everything except um, saving the high score. Hi, Atari. Hey, buddy. And two players. Come on. Up here. Oh, Come on. Or not two players. You can select the second player's look, Are you or the you can your select mouse? your look. Well, you're the one who took your mouse. We didn't hide it anywhere. Oh. Arena foot might have been made before Batari Basic. Hmm. Oh, Clone Spy would know if it's Batari Basic. Interesting. But I like when it's hard to tell. Uh. Yeah. Somehow Impaler Twenty Six. Uh, got it and a bunch of others in that ROM pack too yeah so Impaler 26 put together that oh. uh, list of ROMs oh. so somehow he found oh, it gosh. somewhere in the internet true uh, tells of the off-center bottom score was it off-center yeah because Batari basic kind of has modules yeah. like plug-in modules it's like oh you want to score we've got a thing for score um, so you can use this score that somebody has made, which you just kind of, um, um, put in and then you can just assign. I haven't used it, so I'm just kind of guessing, but, uh, and kind of saying things from uh, what I've read. So you can kind of tell, unless somebody has done an extensive changes to the way Batari Basic, uh, looks, which some people turn out incredible things from Batari Basic that you would never even guess. You'd have to ask them. It's like, did you use Batari Basic for this? Oh, jeez. So... Oh. The score. Terrible. <laughs> Not doing very good. Oh, it's been a while. <laughs> um, so the scores we're trying to beat here. Uh, the top score is twenty-four thousand from Dan. He just put that up like yesterday. Twenty-four thousand. Which I've never gotten up that high. <laughs> I think I've gotten into the mid to high teens. Uh, Charles Wheeland, seventeen thousand. Uh, my score, 13,000, which is not it's a great not score. Bad. It's fine. I'm not getting anywhere near that, so... Your high score is 3,000 that you've submitted, which Sad. is... Sad. Not, not super great. Well, <laughs> yeah. I've done better. I've oh, definitely yeah. gotten six or 7,000, I think. Oh, yeah. But I'm out of practice. And a little... VHSC says, I only use Batari Basic for my Atari 2600 games. No special kernel. So you can see that... Uh, incredible games can be um, put out from oh, Atari Basic. So... And Arena Foot would know, um, like his list. Does your list include? Yeah, your list includes 
whether what programming language they put it, they made it in. So this game is out on cartridge. If you do want to get it, it's in the Atari Age store. Here is the retail package. And gorgeous, gorgeous um, artwork. Um, it doesn't say who did the artwork on the outside. That was okay. Good. That was unlucky. My turn. <laughs> 700 points. Yeah, I think I've got six or 7,000. Not on this version. Kev Kelly sure. says his highest is about 6,000. Yeah. It's, it's, it's challenging. It, I, it is. I think this game is like either you're really good at it or you're kind of fine at it or terrible like there's no like the sliding scale doesn't work so well on this and i am kind of mediocre in the 10 10 000 range then there's the people who can roll the score which i believe it rolls at ninety nine thousand. and for those who don't know this game it's a continuous uh jumper game <laughs> i guess um you're always going up 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 and there's different type of platforms there's these regular ones that you start out on uh the yellows and then it introduces the white ones that disappear when you you get one jump on them and then they disappear and then it introduces well there's a white one yeah see it disappeared then it introduces blue ones with which move around. So there's those three basics. And then it also has these letters. And what these letters do, you can see at the bottom they've been filling in. You want to get as many A's as possible because there's two of them. Um, they spell amoeba. So I just need one more A to smell ame spell amoeba. And when I can... Oh, now the blues are in. And once you spell amoeba, you go on one of the springs, and it'll push you up, I want to say 500, but 700, 1,000, somewhere between that. It's a lot. So normally those things just push you up a screen or screen and a half. But when you get amoeba, that's when it really skyrockets you up. Oh, yeah, doing good. You just need an A now. And if you time up the big spring, you can bypass... Oh. Even though the round is has ended, I'm allowing Zero Page Homebrew to submit only for the scoreboard. Anybody else will be counted to 1 p.m. What? It's over at 1? So it's, we're done? It's, no, it's over in 45 minutes. Oh. I believe. Or it's too late. It smells like uh, incense, maybe. Oh, it could be incense. Yeah, because now it doesn't smell like as woody, like burning wood. It it's definitely more, smelled like has burning more wood. like uh, incense smell now, but it had a really strong smell. No, there's. Oh, it ended at. It already ended at two p.m. Uh, central, central time. Oh, that's why. Oh, so that so would have been done. noon here. Too late. So we're eighteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll beat my score anyway. We'll see. Oh, you got an, You got your mouse back. I gave it to him. Oh, where was it? It was just in the hallway. Oh, he had just kind of let him be for a bit. <laughs> and this is ah. uh, the winner of the 4K um, from this uh, from 2019 um, Atari Awards, Atari Homebrew Awards, because mm -hmm. um, we have a category for small games. Plunk. Very strange noise. Usually I have all the sounds turned off on my computer. Because I don't like noises that I don't ask for. I'm still weird, weird, trouble weird. with this controller too. I need like one of those one of those little um TV tr dinner tray like Well you have one for your laptop. No, but when that actually like goes oh, around. Oh, goes around yeah. the legs. I think because I, I don't sit comfortably with my legs straight, so. Oh, Thrust found. Oh, 
Oh, snakes on a Plane, 2007. Oh, snakes yes. Snakes on a Plane? Those, that is the list of names that were mistaken. So those are probably the wrong names. Probably. Let's, like, take a look. Yeah, Adam. Okay, good, good, good. Thrust found a little bit more information. It is still strange that it's three names, and they would mistake oh. those three names. I always Wiggly. think I've hit something, and so that I'm... <laughs> no, because I think I'm going to fall on it. Right. And then and then I don't. And I, I, I so it's probably the other three names. A lot. It is probably Danny Miller, Kevin Murray, and Christina Marikov. Makarov. Uh, the ones that are labeled actually on the ROM. Um, so that text file listing is probably incorrect. Oh. oh. And this is, um, Erlen's favorite game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he loves this game. This is one of the very early games we played on the show. Yeah. Um, back in early 2018. So we followed the development of this uh, all the way through. From when it was a doodle, then it went turned into a poodle. <laughs> then it and then turned, an, an amoeba. Then in, finally into an amoeba, which is very cool, very cute. Um, little antenna animation. So I've been uh, learning more about my programming in my game, or more about just programming assembly and uh, Atari 2600 games. And I'm now trying to absorb uh, positioning, horizontal positioning of uh, sprites um, and dividing by 15. <laughs> so... Just learning about that now and writing more pseudo code, writing a little bit of code and oh, going no. in between so close to an amoeba. Andrew Davies uh, lesson and Daryl Spice's Daryl Spice Jr. Um, both their um, kind of teaching plans because mm. they both um, did a little bit different um, teaching about uh, programming. 2600 games oh my god so it's good because they take different approaches to um to, to teaching it so between those two it's really helping out quite a bit so i should be ready soon to start getting something that strays away from their lessons got the letters so letters are super handy when you want to bypass always get an a <laughs> get every a you find yeah, yeah try and get I, the a's i as almost much as had possible. the amoeba but right before i oh, died i was one a away it's oh, always no. the a that's because you need two the letters don't, are random but you yeah. don't get double the a's so it's always the a's don't don't go out of your way to get a letter because it's no, dangerous but, but when you're um, close it's like you're like oh yeah. But I, I I mean when you're looking for one specific letter, See it could take a while until you come across it. Yeah. yeah, they're very random. They're not like, oh, I'm going to yeah. help you fill in the blanks. And I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I think when you start getting more of the elements, like the the slidey ones and the ones that disappear, you get less letters and then you hit this this part and then there's no letters at all, right? So, yeah. So you miss out. Yeah. On these these areas or when you get full blue area too yeah and then you go back to this so i see i need an a so you get extra points for the letters though right like if you, uh, yeah if you a little get bit. if you get repeated ones the points really come from just going vertically yeah but you get a little bit so, you so know? if you really want to get high scores you can just ignore the letters and just go for all the um the bouncing as much as possible like every single one of these that's how you're going to get up really high scores fast and less um there's an a <gasps> oops well, that's okay you bypassed a few but you've been zipping so that's how you get really high scores yeah it's true 
So if I don't see a, something on the screen, like a letter, just, pff, just bypass the whole screen. Mm -hmm. Go for one of those plungers. Yay! Oh, oh let me check on that. Okay. They're outside, so... They could be chasing... They were chasing after a uh, moth the other day. Having a lot of fun. They didn't get it, though. But the fun is in the chase. Especially for cats. Because they don't care about the actual killing. So there you go. Now you can see... Ooh, almost... Oh, I bypassed all the blue. That's awesome. That's really good. That's when you want to time it up. To try and bypass... Um, the difficult parts. So that couldn't have been better. The only problem with jumping on those plunger things is that landing is not always easy because there's kind of a sweet spot of going after a landing pad that disappears off the screen. That's usually when I die. I was going to go for that plunger, but it went off the screen because I was a little bit too high. Oh, yeah, you got to be careful. It was nothing. Nothing? Just scramp? Just going after a bug, probably? Yeah, he's he, he was staring underneath something. I'm going, oh, <laughs> a bug or a leaf or something must have happened there. Yeah. So they're getting a little sparse. I don't think the game really relies it on sparseness cycles. yeah it cycles through sparseness and more dense so yeah i think it's more random it is way. a little bit more random or maybe he has it specifically set whoa oh just shy ah 11 ah, that was pretty good oh i'm not gonna hit that but that's okay I think, yeah, Arena Foot, you're safer listing it as the, with the Christina Marikoff than the other one. Because if the other team did that other game... Maybe they were maybe they were both part of some kind of coding oh, challenge. Oh, yeah, it could be. They were both part of the same, same thing, and it was in teams of three. Yeah, that would kind of make sense. Yeah, and they're both the same year, and that's what really kind of pushes it towards that theory. Yeah. So maybe if there's more information about the snakes on a plane, 2007, oh. you can find out what, why they were in team a team of three, doing that game, and that would lead you to a page that would have those other people's names listed on it. I love doing Google searches like that, I'm trying to find, figure out mysteries. <laughs> I like the stereo separated effect. Yellow is sometimes left and sometimes on the right. Nice because games aren't coded for specific left right play. Yeah, this uh the oh. system I have the from Al is a stereo Atari 2600. And 2600s are in stereo. If people didn't know that, originally they are in stereo. Um and they were kind of planned to be stereo. They did have two cutouts, or maybe it was kind of a rumor that it was planned to be in stereo, but there is left and right separation. It's not one uh, audio channel. There are two audio channels, and I think they are, I think internally they were separated. Like, you don't need to separate them. They were already separated, and that's kind of what um, hints towards it was meant to be, be stereo, but this, there was two cutouts in the original moldings possibly for two speakers um, and people also thought i think that um, combat one player's in one channel and the other player's in the other left is in the left and right is in the right um, that's kind of more of what the hint is draconia is very cool left right sound effect when firing i did the sound but i did not code that effect Oh, so somebody um, coded it left and right, but you did the sounds for it. Yeah, class projects like the Vectrex, home, Vectrex homebrews of the past few years. Snakes on a plane, ROMs in the zip link by uh, Arena Foot. 
Did anybody find a page that that there was a class project for those people? I don't. Yep. I don't think too many people program for left and right because I don't think many people have their Ataris modded for left and right. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like such a niche thing. To but if you're going to do it, might as well do it because people who don't have it modded, it well, doesn't matter to them. Uh, as long as it doesn't affect the sound if you don't yeah. have it. But it it's... doesn't disappear on one channel no. or something like that. No, yeah. it doesn't. That's good. But it's kind of like really harsh stereo yeah. because it's either in the left or in the right. There is no kind of left or kind of right or even middle. There's only left and right. The only way you can get... Um, middle or those kind of things is use both the channels at the same time but then you can only have one sound you'd have to put the same sound in both channels at the exact same time and then have the volume down on one of them a little bit and the volume up on the other to kind of give the effect of left and right ah terrible blame Atari yep he's you been, did distract his, me his cuteness is distracting Way too cute for his own good. <laughs> Especially when he jumps up and goes, Hello! Meow! Meow! I'm here. <laughs> I'm Atari. I'm here. I'm here to coast. Aren't you? Yes. And purr, 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 purr. I don't think the mic is strong enough to pick up his purring right now. But no. He is a purring away. He's a per cat. Yeah. Yeah. Spiceware said medieval man was coded for stereo. Oh, Neat. yeah. I guess you could definitely do that because the guys, your players are in absolute positions. Like they do not move. Mm. So if you hit it, it's always going to be in the left or the right or the right. Yeah. I mean, top or bottom, but that doesn't matter. It's not surround. <laughs> So some people do um, plan for that. That's cool. I hate it when you have to go around. Ooh, so uh, I hate that because it's it's hard, hard to. So you can't judge as easily when where, you're gonna let where you're gonna land. Yeah. Yeah. You almost need to practice it a lot. You know, like just practice and die and practice and <sighs> die until you get really comfortable with going around the corner. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you should. Just do a lot of those, because sometimes you're forced to do it. And in those cases, you're like, oh, I don't do this very much. Kidding? The whiskers are very near my joystick hand. <laughs> oh, kitten. Interfering. Oh, goodbye. Oh, on the floor. So you can see I'm like, okay at the game but not like oh i can play it forever i think there's a threshold you get to where well, it's like oh I've, yeah i can handle any time because it doesn't get a lot harder like, no it stays the same really at around I mean, ten thousand, it's you, just over and over the same you can get unlucky too like you can end up eh. zipping to a screen where you have very few platform options yeah so but, you know you, you might have one option and if you miss it you miss it so i think there is a, a slight element of luck too but i think for the most part it stays the same yeah, oh well, yeah, there's luck, but if you you can kind of mitigate the yeah. the issues if you kind of stay to the center when you're yeah. zipping up the screen. Cuz already it's it's difficult. Like it doesn't get more difficult than this. There's blues, there's disappearing platforms. Yeah. I mean, you go through you go through periods where you're all disappearing platforms or all blue ones. Yeah, those are the different Parts, and that's yeah. what makes it difficult but they cycle back like it doesn't yeah. get harder once you've done that once it's basically the same up, up, up the ladder yeah the oh my god that was bad hard parts or when you catch your foot on something yes, accidentally yeah and you're like ah oh, i wasn't expecting that now you have to navigate something you weren't even looking for most of this last time.
But even if you're not great at this game, it's still fun <laughs> at any level. Hey, I need two of them. <laughs> It's always frustrating when you fly by an A. It's like, oh, there goes the A. That, 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 that. I caught my foot on that. Oh. One more and then I'll pass it to you again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it does help to kind of pass back and forth to take a break from it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you need to continue to play a game like I ran because you need to memorize things. Yeah. And if you step away for a bit, it's like, yeah. oh, now I forget what order they're in. This one no. is kind of like, oh, you do need to step away and, and stop for a bit. Well, we were doing tire tracks, right? And I still oh. didn't quite get through that last level. So close. But I, I was getting to the point where I was just getting fatigued. It's like, you, yeah, yeah. you do reach a certain point where it's like, I'm not getting worse. better. <laughs> I'm not improving, so I think I just need to, like, step away. But, uh... I love this. I love this amoeba. I love his little face when he jumps. He goes, yay! <laughs> it's the little touches that, little, you know, little it doesn't take sprites. much. No. Um, it's just extra frames of animation, but yeah. it adds a ton to the game. Yeah. And those are the little touches that are, like, the 90... The last 5% of the programming the the look and feel of it because mm -hmm. the the jumping arc of this guy is, is absolutely perfect it just feels right mm. the movement is really smooth and it feels just right that's super important to any game is that it it, it works right and i think that's why super mario brothers mm did so, so well. well yeah because people just just intuitively were able to it's so sparse, it is sparse to pick it up and go yeah this makes sense yeah <laughs> got my foot hate it hate it Rather catch my foot than oh, not. No. Uh, there you oh, go. No. One more. <laughs> Slime Atari Ball could be from a course of Ian Boggs, author of Racing the Beam. There's a post at Atari Age with a dead link. Oh. My students' Atari VCS games. And if you search for 2007 homebrews, you find a lot of games with three authors. Ooh, good sleuthing. Mm -hmm. That's very, very good sleuthing. Not much of a storm here. We had a crazy storm the other day. Yeah. For the area. For the area. We don't get thunderstorms here. It's no. really, really rare. Even though we're sort of Pacific Northwest and you think, oh, rain. They get storms on the coast, but we're slightly we don't get protected bad rain. because of the island in front of Vancouver. We get mild, mild rain all the time. So, like, hearing thunder is, is a really rare event and people freak out. They freak <laughs> so out. So it's on Friday? It's on Friday. Uh, Friday well, it wasn't morning, last night. wasn't it? Friday yeah, morning? Friday morning around 4.30. Yeah. Um, and it went for like an hour. Yeah. And there was like dozens of lightning strikes. Yeah. And just massive thunder and went on Reddit after, after in the morning on Vancouver subreddit. Yeah. And people were like, oh my God, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> and people were like, oh, calm down. And then other people's like, well, they've lived in Vancouver. They've never experienced craziness like this. Yeah. Because it's so mild. Like once every couple of years. Yeah, that's true. We would true. get something like that. Yeah, it's funny. It's very unusual. Very unusual. So everybody's like, oh my God, it's crazy. It's so loud. What is that? <laughs> people are freaking out. <laughs> Ritual objects. Yes, welcome. Uh, this game is addicting. It is probably one of my most favorite 4K oh. games. And even one of my favorite games, too. Oh, right down the center. I think I've gone over and I haven't. So I'm just going to go for big springs. Just constant big springs. Yeah, well, that's how you get the score as quickly as possible. 
we, because it minimizes. Doesn't it, help if you fall down though. <laughs> it, it minimizes the amount length of time you play. True. Which minimizes the number of um, things you need to jump on, which minimizes also the chance of you not um, falling through one. And like jumping on three of those, three or four of them is, well, maybe more, equal to one big jump. Because I'm already at 17. And I think it's around a thousand you only get from it. So I think that might be the the way to do it. But you can't do it when you get to those special areas. Because they just don't have those. They don't have those big springs. And just collect them when there's, there's some springs. <laughs> collect the little days for sure. Ah, caught my foot! Springs. It's catching on to me. That's interesting. Oh, caught my foot. Ah, see, that's that's an unlucky scenario. Because you're in the middle. And you're you like, have to ah. go left or right, and then if you make the wrong choice, then it's oh, just gone. Joystick's pulling. Yeah. I still haven't repaired this joystick yet. Yeah, Dan, I don't know what my score was. I'm sure it wasn't more than 3,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not great, but that's okay. It's, it's still super fun to play, even if you're not getting high scores. Well, he wants to write down. Your, um, yeah. your score. I, 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 I have done better, but... Uh, this is pulling to the left. Is it? Yeah. A little bit? I still haven't repaired it. Every time I, it's like, oh, it's show day, and I've got an hour. Oh, uh, I'm not taking apart my time. joystick yeah, yeah. at this That's point. True. Yeah, Thank I you. like to jump to the edges of the screen to reach the other side for added challenge. Oh, well, it's, it is added challenge. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? <Yeah. laughs> I had to be way over No, but there. you would have to go over. This is Virtual Objects is right. You have to practice going across from one side to the other because um, because there are situations where you have to do that yep. um, to keep going. And uh, That's true. But it's amazing that, that it... <sighs> I think in most scenarios, you can keep going. It's just oh, you sometimes your brain just goes left instead of right and you yeah. should have gone right or you need to cross the screen and no he's done enough um, testing that there is no spot where you can not continue yeah but it you might be very difficult choice. yeah exactly. oh yeah yeah it may be difficult yeah and you may make the wrong choice to go to the left instead of the right yeah exactly but, or, or your your option is to cross the screen yeah. but you're not thinking in terms of oh i should do that because you're not thinking you can make it or yeah it's pretty cool Yep, yep, yep. Such a simple concept, just. just I, I, I did. Did I beat my score on the scoreboard? Oh, that's uh, good. You Maybe just might slightly. <laughs> anyway. That's okay. Damn it! about this springing idea. I'm just not used to it. And it, it does introduce a lot more danger. But I guess if you just practice doing the spring method for high scores, you'll just get good at the spring method and, and landing. Difficult landings. Lots of A's. Oh my God. More A's. That's where they've been storing all the A's. Greens are the higher, higher jumps than the red ones. Mm. So if you have a choice between them, go for the go for the green. Oh, it just mm. pulled to the left. Bad joystick. Is it any easier with the other pad, or no? Is that is that harder? Mm. I am just really used to that joystick. That's the thing. Okay, Jupiter Storm, thanks for joining us. Sorry, your interconnect internet connection gave out. <laughs> yeah, he was warning us. Oh, beforehand. that sucks. Yeah, this is fine. Because it's just left and right, so... Mm. I haven't played it much with that. I will, I will give it a go 
see if I'm any more successful. <laughs> it's not not as much of a throw to to pull it left and right with yeah. this. Yeah. So you have to be more careful, or? Uh, no, it's just easier, I think, mm -hmm. to react maybe. I don't know if I like this better. Maybe it's also what you're used to. So. Yeah, I'm used to the the joy joystick. The joystick. Which is old school or helpful. Joystick when you go to the arcades and play. <laughs> I know we've bought kits to make controllers and oh, stuff before. Oh, I have to before. make that, yes. Do we, oh, we haven't, we haven't tried it. I haven't it. made that yet. Because, I mean, I, I'm always curious. Well, maybe that should be our project today. Um, oh, yeah, we could. I'm curious. Um, do some measuring it would for the bedroom. Oh, that too. <laughs> uh, um... Yeah, because it, a lot depends on just... The type of joystick. The type of joystick. Yeah, type of input you're using. Yeah. Like, this game could be played with two, three buttons. One for reset. Um, yeah. But t essentially two buttons. Actually, you could play it... That would be funny. I should get out uh, the uh, track and field controller. Oh, yeah? It has left and right and button. And oh. a button. Really? I wonder if that's accessible. Where where would it be? Oh, don't don't. I'll get it. Are you sure? Do you yeah, know where it is? Well, you can pile. you can. Try. I'll I'll you you play and I'll get okay. it. Okay. That I'll should see. be fun. Okay. Use the track and field mm -hmm. controller because it's meant for running and running and jumping. Yeah. So there's only left and right and jump. It's it's like uh, a controller from the arcade, mm -hmm. like the arcade version of it. Yeah, I'm not too keen on this controller. I'm just so used to the joystick. Because I have to move my thumb over to the left or right, rather than just my whole hand's already on the joystick. But with the left and right, you can have one hand on the button and mm -hmm. the other hand on the other button. So that might be interesting. Oh, what is this mess? Okay, there. I can make it up there. <laughs> It's not too bad with this joystick. I'm not... I like game pads for um, platformers more so. Ugh. Oh. Okay. See if you can find your track and field. Yeah. It should be in the Atari 2600 box. Controller box. Where is that? Find it? Yep. You can hear all the commotion. <laughs> Probably. All of the bins. Sorry. So this is a track and field uh, controller. It's got a left and a right and a fire button. So when you play it, you could go jump, <laughs> jump, or you get a pen or a pencil and you can decrease the, do a twitch thing. Let's see, how did they do it? Oh yeah, you kind of position it so it, so you only have to press down on one side and it automatically goes on the other side. Oh, they found the list, student Atari games list. Excellent, but the slime is not on the list. Is there anything like slime? Oh or no! Volleyball or something? <laughs> that was way better. I'm much better with this controller. Five thousand twenty-three. Yeah. Okay. Much better with this controller. Do you want to load so, up that one? There you go, Arena Foot. More, uh, more games to add to the list. <laughs> so we're gonna play this now with the track and field controller. I'm sure it's not gonna be as good, okay. but. So it's just button, button. So there's a left and a right button. That's it? Yeah. Oh, that was. And it's got a fire button, so it's perfect for the reset. 
It's the new Amoeba Jump controller. Have you, uh... Hmm? You should show it up to the screen. If, uh... After I die. Yeah. I think I did. I'll show it closer. Okay. I just, I'll go I can't I'll go see, I can't see, you've oh, got it I'm all covered it. up, yeah. yeah. Oh, Atari's back. Is he in the cat cam? Uh, yeah, I is. can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> he probably is. It's, it's not bad with this controller. Yeah, I mean it makes, it makes the um, back and forth simple. Yeah. So you push and hold. Yeah, you push and hold. Yeah. Just like a joystick. You... Certainly is interesting. Nathan Strom. I love the smell of solder in the morning. <laughs> Lots and lots of or solder. solder. Or solder. So let me show everyone this. So this is the track and field controller, upside down. Um, so it's got a left and a right and a button. So let me go back to the game now. So the button resets the game and you can go, oh, I'm gonna do it upside down. There we go. It's definitely interesting. Neat. Welcome, Nathan. Thank you so much again for fixing my Atari. I'm uh, eagerly awaiting, anticipating part three <laughs> to see if the Atari 2600 turns on. We went we went through the uh, your post at the top of the show. There you go. So very interesting doing. Um, oh jeez. Playing with this controller. Ah. <laughs> oh, my brain does not work that way. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 my brain is like, what, what's this two button thing? <laughs> oh my god! Did I see the teaser post? I feel like Ooh, I need to do it with one teaser hand. Post. No, I think. Oh my don't goodness! Think I saw the oh teaser my goodness! Post. We can switch back to the other one. <laughs> I don't. That's weird. Oh, that's weird. Teaser post. Maybe that his last one that you already talked about. Oh yeah, yeah, we talked about it at the top of the show. Yeah, I thought he posted something else. Ah, ah, my brain doesn't. Yeah, like I'm this very now. excited about chapter three. Ah, ah. <laughs> you like, get getting used to it. Not really. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want to switch back? Oh, this is not. This is. It's interesting. I think you could get the whole. That I could get the hang of it. Yeah, I definitely. I mean, like it's a very different. You have to rewire your brain. There you go. But it is. Um, don't know if there's any games on the twenty six hundred that would be like perfect for this, like left, right, fast ones. Because there's no. I don't know. I can't think of one any right now. Teaser, that's a spoiler. Spoiler. Maybe I didn't click on it. I can't click on it because it's... Let me see. Let's see if I can get my chat window back. No, oh, I can't. Move it over. Oh, there we go. Now I can click on it. Teaser. Teaser? <laughs> You've just confused him. That's an old post. That was 14. Let's see. What am I looking at? <laughs> Is that mine? Is that my system? It looks like my system. Is that my system playing Pac Man? <laughs> That's a good sign. It does look like my system playing Pac Man with the voltage regulator that I put on. Yeah, it is. It is my system, isn't it? Nice. Hooray! So the teaser's more like a spoiler. Yeah, it is. You posted it before the <laughs> before the breakdown. Oh, that's excellent. I didn't even see the teaser. No. 
Yay, it's working! 2600 is working. Yay! Without the RGB. So now he has to look at the RGB and see if it's fixable or if he needs to order another one. Um, that's the next step. Working on chapter three. That's excellent. Video is freezing. Oh no. Only audio. Ugh. Oh no. Let's see. No, we're still healthy here. Sorry about that. Reload. Try and reload. Sometimes that helps, yeah. Oh. Okay, my turn. Definitely doing better with that. <laughs> I think yeah. you're right. It does pull a little bit. The uh, the joystick. Oh, it is. It's it's needs to be opened up. Yeah. That's probably what's. Uh, uh, an hour before chapter two. It's going to be in chapter two, but he's split. Uh, Plus, I wanted to go to bed. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair that makes sense. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I like the joystick better. I'm you like give, the joystick better? Yeah, I'm going to give That's one funny. more good attempt on the joystick. On... Oh, the track and field? No, no. Oh, not the joystick. No, that was very okay. challenging. That sounds fair. Let's see if I can beat my 11,000 <laughs> 11, today and best my... 13,000 score. It's pulling! Stop it! Stop pulling to the left! Because that is not a fun way to die. What would cause it to pull to the left? Just there like... is a spring inside of it oh. that gets kind of worn down. Mm. So it just leans on the left rather than springing, springing back to yeah. center. Gotcha. Gotcha. So every once in a while I have to open this up and, and pull the spring. Oh, really? So it's more springy. Are, is it, are you able to replace the springs? Uh, That's more work. Well, Harder. I'd have to find a replacement. And yeah. This isn't exactly like yeah, that's true. a hot button uh, item to, <laughs> to, to, to be repair yeah. for, you know, for repairs. People just buy another one. Mm. It just pulled again. Uh. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. Yeah, I think we should put together that uh, kit. Yeah, see how that works. Looks pretty simple. There's a bit of soldering, but very, very huge solder points. Oh, Not yeah. intricate so at all. So they make it easy on you. Yeah. yeah. That's good. So it's a joystick kit, and it's a very cool joystick kit. Um, that I ordered a long time ago and completely forgot about it what and it's made pretty much for the atari 2600 is it really i think so mm. because it's got some cool options mm. it's got two buttons but the second button is programmable so you could program it for reset no so you can program it for a direction oh because so for certain games that might be for certain games they they make up the jump or they make up fire so you can assign that second button to be uh, up. So it's fire or jump. Yes, that actually would help the gameplay oh for a lot of games. Yeah. A lot of games. And it comes in this uh, kit, um, do-it-yourself kit, mm. uh, with real arcade um, joystick and real arcade buttons. Nice. Um, so it's really high quality stuff and um, really nice uh, box. Yeah, so if hopefully I it works correctly. out. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was a jump. That was quite a jump. So we'll try and put that together. Because it, it really won't take long. It's it's not many parts to it. <laughs> just, a, just a couple wires. And a board. Nice. Let's go. Oop. Past the white. Almost past Almost the white. Almost past the white. Got it through quite a bit of the white. Don't pull this game i want to do well <laughs> i want to get to the mid to high teens at least don't jinx yourself don't say those things <laughs> doing so well <laughs> what a great game yeah you'd never do that because it never works out <laughs> no oh doing my best i've ever done pulled to the See? left <laughs> no, that was not. Yeah. Okay. Um, Your 12,000 still stands, doesn't it? Uh, 13. 13? That I got last show, which is 
disappointing. Give it another go. Yeah. You, Which you puts don't me like in this? third place. No, it's... Mm. I just don't like I it. I find it a billion times more... <laughs> I'm, I'm way more able to control that. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it, it doesn't pull to the left. A lot more precise. Uh, and, and it's all about yeah. precision when you're landing oh, on things. Oh, this, so. this game is 100% precision. For me, I immediately my score doubled, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, that is saying something. Yeah, it is. Everyone has preferences for what they're comfortable with. Oh, yeah. Like I said, the track and field, the two buttons, I'm like, whoa! My brain doesn't like this button, button, button thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to remap. Remap those those neural connections. Hey, it's two A's in a row. Nice. Ooh, good job. That will help a little bit. As long as this doesn't pull to the left, throw me off a cliff. <laughs> Dan has afforded us a little bit more time just because of when the show starts started. That's very to, nice because to put uh, an extra score. It wouldn't be the first time I've messed something up because of the time zone, so Yeah. And um I usually don't play outside of the um show, play games, so I haven't tried to put in any extra scores on Amoeba Jump. Um between shows or anything. Mm. Just need a B now. This will be my last run. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, me too. We should go for brunch. Mm -hmm. He's nope. very reluctant to go to a restaurant. <laughs> There's a B. Yeah, I am. I don't want to. I I understand. I'm just. But I I'm I'm. Feel like oh. Okay, you want to do one more? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm good, I think. So we'll retire on yeah. that. Um, terrible score. Mm. Um, Eleven thousand today, which doesn't beat my thirteen, so no point in updating it. Mm. I was I like searching the web. Found the origin of Air Raid that way. Ah, Air Raid's a very very mm -hmm. obscure game. It has a T handle. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a good game but it's a rare game. Good show today. Well, thank you very much. Um, we had some fun games to play today. Some re 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 revisited, um, but uh, they're still good to play again. Uh, so let me get up my schedule, which probably might change, because I have, like, old games that I put in and kind of queue up, and then if new ones come onto the uh, forum, then it's like, oh, there's a new build of this, or, oh, there's a brand new game. I'll just... Slot those in, of course. Air Raid could help you pay your mortgage. Yes, it could. It's tens of thousands. In a good condition, especially in the box. Oh, my God. Um, so we played Unholy today. Really great start. To I like, think it's beautiful. It looks kind of really good. <laughs> it looks R really good. RPG-ish. Any yeah. kind of game where it's like you have to get keys yeah. and then you have to go back. You're and, fighting and monsters, things. room to room. No, I, yeah. I, and I love that monk. The the graphics are amazing. The graphics look great. So, and and yeah. when I saw him post that game, mm -hmm. I, I reached out to him. Yeah, yeah. Right away. Yeah. So um, it's great that he passed that on. I mean, it's available yeah. in the Atari Age forums, mm -hmm. but um, the demo. Yeah. yeah, the demo. So yeah. you, people can play it and get to whatever screen. Yeah. I should play it and see what that is. What, what happens? Oh, in the emulator, in yeah. The emulator. Yeah. Well, maybe in a, in a future show you can test it on the emulator true. and just show it maybe in the next stream. Well, he's um, he would have. Next time it'll be wow. more open. And but I mean, if, 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 but yeah, so at least we can show what that screen would look like. So, yeah. Certainly, a, a, something is severely wrong with, with the, the RGB. RGB. Oh, no. That was causing a short across plus five volt and ground. Well, you definitely don't want to connect those two. No. Things. The question mm. is, what? Did that do to the 2600? No. Oh, no. Is Fright. there something broken on it? No. You showed Pac-Man working on it. <laughs> um, oh. We played Iran. A great update. Great new graphics. Mm. Um, we didn't make it probably far enough to see all of the graphics, mm. but it's out there for everybody else to check out. Mm. Um, slime Atari Ball. Um, Very simple. <laughs> could be a lot of fun if they continued it on. 
I, I it just added reset. Honestly, even if it, uh, yeah, the reset's annoying. Increase the score. If they added the reset and made the score like fifteen, then yes. then you would have a fully playable game between two people. It's pretty cute, yep. and they make little happy faces when they win. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Which is cute. really cute. <laughs> and I like that kind of bounce. We played some games like that, like B ball is like that. That's way more complex. Yeah, but when you're when you go up and you bounce up and yeah, yeah. very Lots. much like a little mini volleyball game. Yep. Yep. Pong. You know, it all comes back to Pong, those yeah. types of games. Yeah, it's a little mini volleyball where you hit it with your hand. And Amoeba Jump, the classic, of course. Yeah. Incredible game. Available now at all good retailers. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, we tried to get a better score, but I, I just need more practice and just play it a lot, mm -hmm. which I just haven't. I showed a picture of Pac-Man Pac -Man working. working. <laughs> that okay <laughs> that's cryptic <laughs> so it's not from my system it's from my system but it cuts out who knows we'll see we'll see for part three what he reveals okay um so coming up on uh zero page um a bunch of old stuff i'll keep on my look at uh eyes open for new stuff that's coming out but skateboarding solar plexus smiley zirconium silhouette rainbow invaders a week from now, we've got we'll be getting into Galagon. Oh, nice! Playing that. That's fun. So we we'll, should have that new joystick ready. Yes. For that. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Uh, we'll put that kit together. At least start mm -hmm. it today. Chapter three will be up this afternoon. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. So we'll find out what's happening <laughs> with my Atari. Yeah. Um, and at the end of the month or beginning of next month, we'll be uh, having Thomas Yanch mm -hmm. on the show going through his catalog of games that he's made one by one and having him talk about it. Nice. And um, so maybe we'll collect questions for that beforehand. So it'll That's be good easier. Yeah. If people have specific questions they want to ask. Yeah. Yep. And uh, we'll have them live. We'll have them mm -hmm. video and uh, you can ask questions live as well. And we'll be playing his games uh, one by one going through them. That'll be a lot of fun. So thank you every much, everybody so much for tuning in dan avc arena foot nathan strum thank you nathan strum for uh trying to get my my uh atari working uh janzel nl uh thrust 26 who is thomas yench <laughs> who i was just talking about better end of the month okay on yeah. vacation okay well good first good sunday of july because yeah let's see oh yeah that's not going to work out. So, yeah, it'll have to be the end of the month. Well, it could be... No, it can't be Wednesday. It has to be a Sunday. So, it'll probably be almost 100%... The 26th. 28th. Or 28th. Uh, Sorry, 28th. Yeah. 28th of June. So, yeah. we're pretty much going to lock it into that. All right. Which is a Sunday, which is, you know, better for Europeans. So, there mm -hmm. you go. Um, Arena Foot, Iceposta, VHZC. Oh, this jumps too fast. I'm going to have to play with that. Can Elnifer. Nope. Um, I have focus on it. I can do a page at a time, which yeah, is good. Jupiter right. Storm 17. Uh, Ritual Objects. Welcome. Yeah. I don't think I recognize that name. Uh, Dan Deanoid. AVC. Dan AVC. Genzel. Thank you, Dan AVC, for putting on this um, this competition. Uh D Train 37, Splendid Nut, Pack Rat BG, who else? Prow 7, Jupiter Storm, did I say? Leo Scanty, thank you for making uh, Unholy and putting it out so we can play that. And that is it as far as I can go. There we go. Yeah. Tension. Fine by me. Excellent. <laughs> we'll make it for that date and I'll, I'll put it in for that date um, right after the show. And then we will, I'll put out uh, a call for questions. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be back on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. You don't work long that day, do you? No, you're not working long. Working normal still. Uh, yeah, I'm still normal. Yeah. Okay. I'll so be, back be, six. Six. Yeah, yeah, be back for six. Yeah. I'll be back for six. Um, yep, yep. <laughs> and uh, keep a watch out on the. Uh, Zero Page Homebrew Club for part three of the RGB Fix by Nathan Strum. Mm -hmm. I'm anticipating it. I'm excited about that. <laughs> and uh, scared. <laughs> oh, yes. And Arena Foot's book is coming out soon as well. 
uh, part four of his uh, homebrew retrospective of all the games that have ever come out. Wow, excellent. So, so he's he's kind of splitting his games, uh, his books up into years. Okay. And I think he did 2018, 2019, 2020, and that's how he's continuing it on. Okay. And then anything before that is going to be in volumes, mm. randomly put together. Oh, and okay. And so this is volume four of the older oh, games. older games. Cool. Put together, so... Cool. And I have uh, uh, revised what is homebrew intro nice. for that book, so that'll nice. be that'll be fun. Yep. And I've already sent that in, so he's got uh, an early cover for it. So he's working on the cover nice. right now, and it's already um, getting ready for uh, release in Amazon. And special editions, actually, yeah, yes. he's got a Christmas edition yes. as well. So he's got he split it up into different kind of sections. Yeah. So that's lots of fun. Oh, yes, that is Brian. Brian Mathern yeah. equals Arena Foot. Yes. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. We're going to go eat lunch now. And uh, we will see you on uh, Wednesday, yes. Wednesday evening. Thanks. Bye-bye.